<laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, Please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, One car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! <laughs> well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right, well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? I must admit, it. it's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this, but I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? Jack Burton? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Well, duh. You're a little late. So. What have I missed? Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Angie. Hey, Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The hermit shell is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV, huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice, which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm gonna use to motor right out of this sad little town. So you're definitely leaving? Absolutely. 
Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. grown quite fond of you, you know. Likewise, Miss Weiss. But at some point you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks! It's time for the final act. It's a doozy! <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Angie, wait! Dear people, none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone! This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mokays. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. <laughs> 